Hi guys, uh, today we're at uh, Semitje de Bergen. Pardon my French, I don't speak French at well. Um, here's a, a beautiful, it's a beautiful graveyard with um, beautiful monuments uh, developed by the middle class around the 19th century. Um, uh, also called the bourgeoisie. I hope I say it right. I don't speak French, like I said. But this is one of the perfect monuments. Uh, let's start it here. And welcome to our video. Uh, it's these amazing monuments created by the middle class. Uh, we were able to get some money about the time of the Industrial Revolution, late 19th century and early 20th century. And as you can see, many people are buried here, like politicians. Uh, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm very nervous. Uh, artists, all kind of artists, like authors, uh, um, people who create this kind of art, you know. Um, the and people who are also uh, creating paintings. Even famous painters are buried here. Uh, so there are many people there, uh, all from middle class. Uh, you could also say farmers, but those aren't the famous ones, but the, they also belong to the middle class. So yeah, let's take a look. Masons here, like um, uh, I really forget his name all, all the time. Clement de Kuyper, I think it's called uh, one of them, and Sylvain Navo. Uh, I'm really bad on the names, but it's French. <laughs> I don't speak French again. And also many bronze ornaments. People still love to see it till this day. It's amazing. How incredibly um, how this unique environment is created by also the trees you can see there. It's, her, it's known for having this look with these trees around them and it's called peaceful.
Sylvain Noga. Again, sorry if I say the names wrong, some of them are French. Yeah, that's good. But they are monuments for the Second World War, people who died fighting for Belgium. All around. All people who lost their lives for a crime, I think. I think war is a crime and needless. Here they lie and I hope they'll find peace. Another thing we have to note is that it was built in 1884, expanded in 1886 and then again in 1921 and for the last time in 1933. And now it's a big beautiful graveyard. They even um, help restoring the old monuments as you can see there. Keeping it all perfect. It's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> also searching for the mayor who was buried here, but we haven't found him yet. Maybe we will. Modern graves, but still very unique, not like we're used to. Ik heb wat verteld. Say why it's so it's peaceful down. You can't really, you really feel yourself. You know, it's peaceful, like the dead shoot. <laughs> this beautiful monument. Another unique 
strong for the place market. Yeah? Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Look how beautiful this is. We still haven't found the mayor yet, nor the famous footballers buried here, but instead we found amazing grave monuments here at the cemetery. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. It sure is a unique cemetery. It gives me a feeling at uh, Buff, uh, where Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know, she always came to these uh, cemeteries uh, with these amazing monuments. And we never saw them in our country, so we're like, do they still exist or do they only, do they only exist in Buffy? But yes, they do exist. Look at these guys. It's Jesus lying on the ground. Oh my. I think Jesus fell down. No, he's yeah. supposed to oh be yeah. there. Jesus fell. Jesus, poor, poor Jesus, Jesus fell. <laughs> he was like, mm, I want to lay down now. <laughs> I'm tired of hanging. Another mm. thing that I don't like is why is there a modern do door in that grave monument? Why? Why would you do that? Monuments and new ones. Still very unique. I 
and a very old special monument there. We should check that one out, I think. I have never seen such huge graveyard in my life. Oh. Look at this. But have you seen this one? Then? It couldn't be from Renaissance since it didn't exist till the Victorian age. Yeah, it must be taken over by nature. Yeah, it must be taken over by nature. There's actually a tree on that one there. Very unique. This one has lots of details. He saw her family pay a lot of thoughts and prayers over here. Even has some Easter bunnies. Only 19. That's way too young. Like letting someone go, I think it means with the pigeon. No, it has a pigeon. That is the coolest grave I've ever seen. And very costly. <laughs> it must have cost quite a lot. But this is the Maya. Franz van Hombay. Hombay. Wow, what a name. Another beautiful grave. <laughs> Mm. It really has this buffy feeling to it, don't you think? Yeah. Or this one. Wow. Some people are used to be really rich, I think. <laughs> uh, well, it was the middle class who suddenly had money to create this amazing monument for the entire family and also um, travel. How huge that one What's huge? Oh, one, two, three, 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 yeah. Freaking huge. Okay. I'll show you guys in a second. I have to <laughs> walk up a little bit. Alright, here we go. Look at this. Family Latini. That thing is huge. Such an amazing look it has. 
you can see it's really unique oh wow We don't have these things in the Netherlands, I think. We don't have these things in the Netherlands. Maybe uh, in the big I cities. Don't think so. Look at this one. Not as far as I know. Oh wow! Look. Vienna's special change. Yeah, it's With like the taunt. <laughs> yeah, you can oh, even see the taunt. Another special one upcoming, not this one, but I still want to show it to you guys. Here, another one. A very Roman Catholic one. It's incredibly beautiful. Oh, wow. It's perfect, isn't it? Another amazing one. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Thank you for uh, <laughs> joining us for this amazing location filled with great monuments. Amazing cemetery. Thank you very much. I hope you have a nice day and uh, see you next time. Please like and subscribe and I wish you a beautiful day guys. See ya. See ya. Bye bye.